Hey everybody. I am going to take you on a video tour of the house. So right now we're at the front. Here's our camper situation. See we weren't lying when we said we we're living in the driveway. Uh, the orange tarps that you see at the bottom, they're sort of uh, blanketed tarps. They're insulated tarps, I think that's it. And so that's sort of keeping some heat in. And you'll see if we go in. Oh, maybe you can't see. Oh, we got a heater under there. That's keeping the pipes from freezing. Because uh, right now it's below zero. It's going uh, above zero this week, so I'm glad about that. So over here, you're going to see a... Oops, I just walked into some scaffolding. Uh, like a handmade fence. So this is <laughs> what we've rigged together to sort of attach the fence to the... It's not really attached to the camper, but just sort of close to it. But anyway, that keeps the dogs in. The, the, the one thing is we have to move it every time that we uh, move the camper or take the camper to dump the black tank. So here we are. The house before was just this floor. Now there's a second story. Crazy. Let's go in, shall we? Hello scaffolding. This scaffolding was set up over there a while ago. Now it's gone. This is the fourth bin that they have been filling. So here we are at the front door. So everybody that knows our front door, this is a temporary one. Um, just uh, so they'll replace it with the real one eventually. This, I don't remember what, oh, I think that's the fan for the bathroom. So, as you go into the house, uh, for those that remember the house, you, there was a small foyer with a second door. So now it's open to the back. And then there's going to be a new closet here on the side. So it's a little wider than it was. Um, but we didn't want to make it too wide because it's going to eat into the uh, living room space. So um, when you first walked into the house and opened that second door, <laughs> uh, you would have seen a wall here. We had a mirror and um, a bench where you could uh, put your shoes on and a shoe rack. But now, so that wall was sort of the, uh, the backside of a third bedroom that was here in this space. And that's where I had all my clothes. That was my closet. And now it's a staircase and a doorway to the backyard. I'll show you that soon. So now we're looking uh, on the left is our old dining room space. Same size window. It's a new window, but it's the same size window that was there in the dining room before. It's just now on the left. We have a new beam up there and a sort of a uh, space that you'll be able to see through to the back. And then over here is where our kitchen was and will be again. So that back door that's there on the right back, uh, it's farther back than it used to be. It used to be sort of where that ladder is. Um, the window is still the same size. It's a new window, but it's the same size. And so we're going to have cabinets all under that back wall, under the two windows back there. And then we're going to have a fridge to the right of the back door. And then it'll sort of come around in a U to meet up with the island, which will be, uh, well, it'll be under, you see that little, um, the bottom of the ducting there? That's for the 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 fan over the stove. So it'll be sort of just to the right of where all the blue tarp is, which is our new fridge and our old dishwasher and old stove. The biggest thing here is the living room. It's so completely different. Look at this. So here, where that middle wood thing is, 
that's called a post, <laughs> not a thing. Uh, that is sort of the center of where the uh, fireplace used to be. And we used to have a really large um, stone fireplace. It was probably like eight feet by, I don't know, six feet by eight feet, like 40 square feet of stone uselessness. It never worked even after we moved in. Like it just hadn't worked for decades. So we never had a fireplace, working fireplace. <laughs> And on this back wall, we used to have bookcases. And now we have our new fireplace. It's a gas one. What? Our new chimney breast that goes up to the, I guess it's a story and a half in the living room here. The window, if you remember, our old living room window uh, was basically this size, but we had little windows under the bigger window. So we got rid of the little windows and just kept the big size window. But then we added this light shelf and those windows up there. So then this is the back of the closet in the foyer. Uh, and on the left there, that's gonna be a little sort of bookcase and like a charging station for all our laptops and shit. I mean, you know. So there's a beam. It's another store and a half sort of looking up that way. Uh, so where the beam is, and at the top of the posts here, that was used to be the ceiling of our old space. And now it's lofted up, and it meets uh, the loft up there, which we're going to go visit. Um, maybe I'll just take you. Uh, so here, this room here is our old bedroom. And this will be Eric's mom's bedroom. This room here is our old office, which will be Stan's bedroom. And then you'll see here, we still have the bathroom with our beautiful door on it right now, which is a old shower curtain. So, I mean, we're still using that. We gotta replace that window. They broke it uh, <laughs> when they were moving something. Um, so we've still been using that. And there's our old bedroom. Uh, am I making you dizzy yet? Here's the backyard. Bunch of construction stuff, scaffolding. They're still doing the stucco on this side. There's the hot tub and the shed that Eric built uh, a couple years ago. Uh, here's a garden, the linden tree, the gazebo. And then the camper's over there. So, yeah, stucco's looking great. And we have sort of repeated, like, um, they're not a light shelf like it is called in the living room, but like just a sort of awning over the door, sort of repeated theme here. This you can't really see what's in there. The garden that was completely neglected this year. All right, we're gonna go back inside. So when you come in the back, you can go downstairs or up to the main floor where we just were. Uh, downstairs is a mess. They just finished taking out the bottom of the chimney, uh, which is sort of where Eric is standing. And that used to be the <laughs> Uh, where Eric had his drums, where we had our TV to watch movies and stuff, If you, for those of you that know the house. And then at the back wall, where all that ducting is right now, just leaning against the wall, that's where the stairs were coming down from the kitchen. And then in front here was where my craft room was. And then the space that I'm standing in right now, where the stairs are, was an old storage room. Um, so now it's just the base of a staircase. And then that room down there used to be the old spare room. Some of you watching this video probably stayed in this room. And there's our freezer and fridge, extra fridge, and some wires. <laughs> and here's the current laundry room. This is how I'm doing laundry these days. It's a lot of fun. All right, sorry to make you dizzy. We're going back upstairs. Back 
backyard. So we're looking right from the back to the front now. So like I said, the front door will be different. Um, all right, so we're going upstairs. So like I mentioned before, this space here was that um, I'm standing in the bathroom now. This space that you're looking at now used to be that old, the smallest bedroom that I used to use as a closet for my clothes. And now it's the staircase. So we look up. Nice. What? Look at all that light. So this is all new. So we are now, uh, we're looking out the front of the house, out this window. And uh, yeah, this used to be all the attic. And now it's uh, more than an attic. So this is my craft room. It's a big open space at the top of the stairs. So the stairs are there. Uh, so this will be my craft room. Picture my wicker hanging chair hanging in front of this window. My tables. Yeah, it's going to be great. So there's um, the shed roof. So it's just an angle from the all the way up there and then it goes down that way so yeah like I said we're looking at the front uh, we're looking at Chippewa so that's the front of the house and then this is gonna be so we've come up the stairs and then if you look right that's the doorway to our bedroom right now it's a little dark because of the the scaffolding and the tarp that you saw outside um, but we don't mind the bedroom being a bit dark so at the back, those six little windows, um, we're going to have the bed centered under that uh, alcove. And it's going to uh, be wood trimmed. Um, yeah, it's going to be cool. And then this little alcove here on the left, uh, <laughs> Eric loves when we go to a hotel and they have a coffee maker right there. So that alcove is actually going to have like a small fridge, a uh, coffee maker, Maybe it'll hold some milk for the coffee. Maybe it'll hold some wine for movie nights. So the bed will go there. This is going to be like a bookcase thing. So if I pull back a bit, maybe you can see the ceiling kind of goes up. So there's no drywall on that ceiling because it's going to be like shiplap uh, up there, just painted. So there's a window there and then a window here. So now I'm in bed, looking back at the door, and you'll see we put another sort of bulkhead light shelf up there. The closets are all going to go along that wall there. And then in between the two, and there'll be a dresser um, facing the closets. And then in between those two windows, we're going to make this sort of slatted wall that'll divide the closet from the, ba the bed space. So you've seen this. I'll go this way. And along this wall, it's just kind of blank. So at the top of the wall, we're going to have like plexiglass uh, windows, basically, indoor windows into, on the left side, it's going into the craft room, and on the right side, it's going into the new bathroom. So going in the door of the bathroom, this will be a barn door just to match the one we have downstairs. Over here, there's a little closet we'll have. And then the vanity will go here in this little alcove. You can see a theme with our lowered ce ceilings. <laughs> um, over there is a toilet space. And then in front of this window here would be the bathtub. And then over here will be the shower. So we have indoor windows again into my craft room. And yeah, so we'll be able to sit in the bathtub and see that view. And then that ceiling over there, that's the edge, top of the garage. It's nice and bright today. 
So looking back, there's the shower. So uh, you see that long cord, that's going to be the, for the shower head. We're going to build this triangular slatted thing at the top there and the, the shower head will come through that. Uh, it's hard to explain, you'll see it maybe <laughs> in a month or so. And then this is that dresser that we bought on uh, Marketplace or Kijiji or somewhere. Uh, and then we made the uh, cement countertop. The guys are using it kind of as a counter right now, but it should clean up fine. So that's going to fit in that alcove space there. All right, so coming back, we got a nice beam that we're going to keep. We're going to clad that in uh, cedar or something. And so we're back at the stairs. The railings are gone right now because um, the drywall, they needed to be out of the way for the drywall guy. So then uh, right now I'm in the doorway of my bedroom. There's the craft room again. And then so if you turn left, this is the loft. And this is the space over the dining room and kitchen. And so this back wall will be desks for our office and it'll have some shelves. And then this side wall of the house um, will have all bookcases and a hanging light and a nice chair. And then these little half walls here looking down into the living room, that wood thing will be gone. Um, it'll be a uh, plexiglass or glass, I'm not sure, uh, divider. So looking down into the living room. Woo! Holy moly. So you see the chimney. Yeah. Nice, eh? So the the sun crosses across here uh, and sets somewhere over there. So it, it brings in really beautiful afternoon light. It's about, I don't know, 3 o'clock right now. So up there, that's a giant return vent. It's going to continue across the roof of the loft to over there. Uh, we needed to do that. So the return, it comes in and it goes along in the ceiling and up through the chimney. If you remember pictures from a couple of weeks ago, it was sort of in, in this part of the chimney breast. Um, and so that's the return. So it's going to um, keep everything really moderated up here. Uh, so that, we're not going to leave it super industrial um, style. It'll, so I'm trying to back up without falling over the loft wall. Um, it'll go along there. Doop. And then we're going to build a wood structure, sort of slatted wood structure that will uh, hang under it and hide some lights. And then this ceiling and this ceiling over the living room is going to uh, be covered in the old, the wood uh, planks that we took off uh, that were the roof of the original house. Uh, yeah, so there we go. It's pretty snowy right now. I'm hoping this week it'll melt, but I'm not entirely sure about that. So here we are looking back. So we're gonna paint the living room a sort of dark color the bottom half anyway, just to ground that space. And then the chimney breast will be the same color. And then up here will be sort of a, almost white, but not quite. And then we'll figure out what we're doing in the rest of the place, space for later. So there's another window here, looking back at the staircase. Once that scaffolding is gone, we'll have that tree as the backdrop, and it uh, reflects the one uh, from my craft room. So I hope you guys can get a better sense of the house now. Um, I don't know if this shaky cam video helped or not. Anyway, uh, I'll do another video some other point. Bye!